Hello, gorgeous McChicken Nuggets. No, not McChicken, just chicken. Well, how about spicy, spicy chicken nuggets? Because we have some spicy information. Oh my gosh, I've written down these questions and I have legitimately <coughs> been getting off of work, if you get what I mean. Getting off of work like around 6, 7 p.m. I mean, you know, like the, the overtime and stuff. And sometimes it's like, oh yeah, stop at five, you take a break and then you come back to do a few more things for the boss man. But hey, it's all in good, good vibes, good vibes. But I've been drained to say the least. But today I said, you know what, it's Friday. Let me catch up on the readings, <clears throat> the fun and, and crispy chicken nugget ones, um, spicy chicken nugget ones that are fun to do. So I'm going to do the one a reading on Austin and Catherine McBroom, Mr. Taurus and Ms. Virgo, all about the pentacles, you know, and looking good, etc. Unfortunately, low vibrational vibes, okay? So regardless, let's get some positive energy in this space right here. My spirit guides, angel guides, universe, all the positive energies that are around me, please come in. And let's get a yes and no tarot session going. So yes, I received an amazing box of tarot cards and angel deck um, cards also from one of my subscribers, an amazing soul. I mean, she's spectacular and I love her very much and she knows that I've said it a million trillion times and I'll keep on saying it. Um, but this is one of the ones that were in the box that I did an unboxing this past week. Tarot of Positive Clarity by Gregory Scott. Just gorgeous. So, um, I don't know the colors and the way that they are depicted. I have to fix the lighting here. Whoop. Let me just get a few. Oh, the Queen of Cups. This is one that I had seen previously. They're re really, really beautiful and the colors and everything. I like the fact that they bleed out to the corners and the sides, just beautiful. So let's do this reading with um, the Austin and Catherine McBroom reading with these cards with Gregory Scott Tarot. Thank you, thank you. And I'm letting them know I, I prayed on all of the cards already manifested that uh, with them and held them, let them feel my energy also. And that I'm their mama bear now, I'm their, um, main chicken nugget mama bear. So this is basically already acknowledged with all the cards that were gifted to me, um, beyond blessed. So thank you, thank you. Here we go. And we're gonna do yes or no session, my dear spirit guides and tarot cards. So it's cups card for yes, swords card for no as usual. And let's begin. I am so excited. I promise you guys, it's like, Ooh, and they shuffle nicely. Oh my gosh. It's literally euphoric. Oh my goodness. You can feel the quality. Amazing. Oh, spectacular cards. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. We're going to do a reading, a yes or no tarot reading. Cups card for yes, swords card for no. In regards to Austin and Catherine McBroom, we have a few questions here, my spirit guides. Angel guides, positive energies around me. Only positive energies are allowed around me and around this, this reading. Eight of Pentacles. Super cool. What a pretty card. Eight of Pentacles. I'm not sure if there's enough lighting. Sorry, guys. So, is Austin McGroom a pathological liar? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Oh, God. We started off like this? No. Five of Swords? Five of Swords of, uh, no, a pathological liar? Okay. <clears throat> is Austin McBroom, maybe he's worse. Oh, here comes the Three of Cups. Okay. I see this deck of cards are kind of sassy. They're being sassy with me, huh? Is Austin McBroom a habitual liar? Which one is worse? Or which one is the more extreme? Is, is Austin McBroom a habitual liar? Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Thank you guys. 
Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for being here and assisting me with giving some ideas, some insight. This is all for entertainment purposes. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. My loves, I appreciate you so very much. Please check out your videos on your sign or the big three, if anything. Is he a habitual liar? <laughs> The Fool and the High Priestess. Holy mackerel. Gorgeous. Oh, oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Look at her sitting like on top of a, I guess a chair, but the chair is elevated. Whoa. Gorgeous depiction. Oh, I thought it was water down below, but it's not. So it was Austin McGroom, a, a habitual liar. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Is he up? A habitual liar? I keep on wanting to say pathological. Is he a habitual liar? Is Austin McBroom, McBroom I almost couldn't say his name, is Austin McBroom a habitual <clears throat> liar? I think pathological is worse, right? Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, it's all about money. All the ones that have come out is about money. Hmm. Is Austin McBroom a habitual liar? Cups of um, <laughs> cups for yes, swords for no. 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 Is Austin McBroom a habitual liar? Cups for yes, swords for no. Nine of cups. There you go. So habitual yes, pathological no. That's very interesting though. Super, super interesting. Oh my God. Guys, I haven't seen all the cards, but look at the two of swords. What the, who does this? Who draws this? I'm just so in awe of the pictures. Whoa, totally gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Will Austin Mc and Catherine McBroom be sued for mortgage fraud? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Cups, the fool card, okay. Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Will Austin and Catherine McBroom be sued for mortgage fraud? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. <clears throat> Remember, this is entertainment purposes. I don't know if I said it already. Come on, guys. Two of Pentacles, more money, more money. It has to do with money with them, with being greedy. What was one of the seven sins that has to do with money? That's them, literally. Will Austin and Catherine McGroom be sued for mortgage fraud? Did one flip over, guys? I wasn't even looking. Jeez, I love this deck. Oh my God justice card well i think there's the answer justice card is yeah the court system etc sometimes i think the cards are like mm, tell you i just deal with this one and this is the answer the justice card was Catherine selling her furniture online cups card for yes swords card for no cups card for yes swords card for no <clears throat> whoa okay this is strange Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Huh. I mean, she wasn't doing it. Somebody else was doing it for her. So, I mean, basically, I know, I know. It's old news. I know. I've been busy at work. I already told you guys. When I have more time on my hands, I'll do more videos, like more up-to-date, I guess. I don't know. Please bear with me, my loves. Please. Look at the Ten of Cups card. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Okay, I need to stop. Is uh, Catherine and Austin's new house a rental property, which was already deciphered by Fleur. I don't know if you guys have seen her, but she's amazing. Her videos are like on fleek. It's F-L-E-U-R. She's amazing. I mean, I love the way she does the videos and like hilarious. <clears throat> so I think she already said that um, she's just another YouTuber. She's amazing, spectacular. And um, 
not just another YouTuber, but she's awesome. But regardless, yeah, she did a video where they found out finally that, yes, it's a rented property. But I'm going to see what the cards have to say. Is there a new house, a rental property? Oh, Ace of Pentacles, more Pentacles. Look at this royal green Ace of Pentacles card. <gasps> A Tarot of Positive Clarity, Gregory Scott. Look at that card. Is the McBroom's house a rental property? The new one that they got? That they're flexing on, like if it's a bought house. Ooh, I mean, these people, yeah, like, they may not have been a They must be so ashamed of being so narcissistic and money driven and teaching their kids the same thing it's very sad i mean i just find it extremely sad for any future that could be there you know what if the money goes what if it goes is their new house a rental property cups card for yes swords card for no cups card for yes swords card for no i heard a flip oh my god i love the way <clears throat> eight of swords okay we haven't deciphered it yet i guess but they say maybe there's another name for it i have no idea but this one said no do austin and Catherine purchase subscribers do austin and Catherine purchase subscribers cups card for yes swords card for no cups card for yes swords card for no do they purchase subscribers do they buy them Oh, look, three of swords. I guess not. I guess not, my loves. Let's see. Oh, I have a lot of... Damn, how far am I? Okay, 11 minutes is not bad. Is Catherine McBroom only interested in money and fame? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Oh, shit, the devil. <laughs> look at the devil card interesting very interesting yeah codependency addictions look at that there's drinks no way to get out that's crazy toxicity is Catherine McBroom only interested in money and fame clubs card for yes swords card for no clubs card for yes swords card for no strength So intricate. Oh my god, guys, this has become more of a how gorgeous these cards are. This deck <clears throat> is Catherine my broom only interested in money and fame. Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Oof, the moon. Oof, oof. Es que no puedo con la belleza. Is Catherine McBroom only interested in money and fame? Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Thank you. <coughs> Queen of Wands. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no, guys. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Yeah, she's only interested in money and fame. Four of Cups. Look at this card. I cannot boil. They're so beautiful. I swear I carry some of the decks around me with me <laughs> because I have to redo this whole, you know, the whole showcase here of my tarot desk, per se. Um, and I carry them around like babies, I promise you. Will Austin McBroom succeed as a boxer? I was just going to say Austin Powers. Will Austin McBroom... Maybe Austin Powers will, huh? High Priestess, Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Fighting. There's fighting. <laughs> oh, man. Will Austin McBroom succeed as a boxer? Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. No. Page of Swords... No, he won't. Uh, it's so sad. Guys, come on. I don't know. I'm just a, a bottle of emotions. I'm a Cancerian woman, so me da pena. You know, it's like, it must be so shameful for people that really have a conscience you know, that, that maybe are family of theirs and stuff and know the truth. Is Catherine being sued by 1212 Gateway? 
Queen of Cups. That was the next question, and I automatically, I said, this is the card for this. Did she really change the passwords for 1212 Gateway? Cups card for yes, Swords card for no. <clears throat> King of Swords, it says no. They say that she did something, but hey. Will the next Social Gloves event be a success? Will the next... Whoop, whoop, okay. No. Nine of Swords, look at this. The one that's like restless nights and sleepless nights. Look how awesome this painting is. Nine of Swords. It's a no. And then Four of Wands. Wow. I cannot get over how gorgeous these cards are, guys. All right. A few more questions. Will Austin scam more people in his next social gloves event? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Will Austin try to scam more people in his next social gloves event? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Ace of swords, no. It says no because I guess they already know who he is and how he is. So something I've been feeling... <clears throat> I've been feeling that something big is going to happen. Like if he tries to scam someone um, or like, you know, owe money to someone, etc. But that kind of level where it's the boxing event, etc. Those guys don't play and they're hardcore. It's like it can get to another level where he's going to get in a lot of trouble. Or, you know, two big black eyes. Will Ace Hat Collections be sued by Mechanics Lean? By A Mechanics Lean. Two of Cups. <clears throat> so apparently Ace Hat Collections will be sued by a mechanics lien. That means it's a developer that is owed money. They call it a mechanics lien. That I remember from real estate. It's interesting. Uh, will the McBrooms end up broke? Will the McBrooms end up broke? Cups card for yes, swords card for no. Page of Swords, no. What's the other word? Not broke. Um, bankruptcy. Will they have to claim bankruptcy? Will the McBrooms have to claim bankruptcy? Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. Will the McBrooms have to claim bankruptcy? <clears throat> Cubs card for yes, swords card for no. I mean, they're going to have to... Bankruptcy? Will they have to claim bankruptcy? Five of Swords, no. Okay. I mean, this is the energy right now. Remember, this is why I do updated videos. Do you get what I mean, my jelly beans? So, um, energy, it doesn't... It's not broken down and not made up, like created. It shifts. Energy shifts. So, and this is the energy at the moment, right now. Ahora mismo. I only know Spanish and English, and English, so I don't know any other way to say it, okay, babes? So this is it. This is the reading for now in regards to Catherine McBroom and uh, Austin McBroom. Man, I wish them the best. I really wish them the best because of the kids, all right? And I hope they learn their lessons. And once again, guys, when you are so low vibrational and have money, there's nothing, nothing in the spiritual world that is there for you that can be of use for you how Catherine claims to be so spiritual and the energies and blah 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 and this and that when you're so materialistic and inclined to the materialistic world that is not the right thing to do I mean basically plain and simple in layman's terms it's just not the right thing to do and it doesn't exist spirituality and being spiritual and and you know like crystals and this and that and energies and talking about it it doesn't mean or it doesn't match with the energy of being materialistic and thinking you're better than everybody else basically and doing all these scumbag things that her and austin are doing so plain and simple i always try to put it towards the astrological and spiritual part of any situation Okay, I know my, my kids get sick of it, I guess. <laughs> but regardless, yeah, it's just me. It's what I love. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please share, like, subscribe. And let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. All right? Love you. Bye.